Hey guys, what's up, what's up? It's me, Sean John. I'm here to tell you that you will never be free, hear me out, that you will never be financially free with a poor money mindset. Now, how do I know this? Well, if you don't know my story, the first time I was homeless, notice I said the first time, was when I lived in Louisiana and I was a senior in high school. I was homeless. I had to go and live with some friends. I had nowhere to live. That was the first time. Uh, I grew up in a very, very poor environment. Uh, we were lacking all the time. There was no abundance. There was no money. Uh, so those conditions make it very easy uh, to be homeless. Uh, second time, just a few years later, making poor money management decisions, not making enough money, and ended up homeless again. Third time, just a few years ago, uh, and then I decided, you know what, I'm packing up, I'm leaving Louisiana, moved here to Texas. So, and it's been, it's been great ever since. So, uh, by the way, hit subscribe, hit thumbs up. That way YouTube can share this channel with more people like you who need this content. And uh, I hope it blesses you, okay? So, uh, as long as you continue to function the way you are, you're always going to be, let's say, you're never going to be in the position that you're capable of. So potential will never be realistic to you. You might accomplish some things, but you'll never be able to accomplish the things that you were capable or had the potential of, of being able to accomplish. So how many of you know you were born with desires, born with gifts, right? Those things are in you. Uh, the problem is most don't take the time to nurture it and to grow it and to raise it right so that it can produce at a high level in fact that most is probably 90 percent of people in america and so if you go through life today with the same mindset that you had just five years ago i'm telling you it's not going to work right i'm telling you that this the money system and the game of playing money and building wealth has changed but most of you haven't been paying attention so if you go if you play by the same money rules you're always going to be broke you're always going to be in lack you're always going to be in this cycle of never building wealth and passing down generational poverty. Uh, because if you don't pass down generational wealth, you're going to pass down generational poverty, right? And so I work very hard so that my kids don't have to take that. They don't have to receive that the way I did. It's not a good way to live. You're either going to live the life you want to live or the life you have to live. I recommend you live the life that you have to live. And so hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, welcome to the channel, tell someone else about the channel if you don't mind. Uh, so if you play the game the same way, for instance, a lot of you believe that it's a good idea to work extra jobs and save money in the bank. And then I show up and I say, hey, wait a minute, you know the banks don't pay you any money for putting your money in the bank, right? You just give it to them for free, right? Uh, hey, by the way, you do know that the banks use your money because you've been trained very well to leave it there they use your money to get rich, right? Hey, by the way, you do know that the banks encourage you to save money and the banks don't save money? In fact, if the banks did what you did, the banks would be out of business. So what does that tell you? You're out of business. Yeah, your personal finances are out of business, right? So understand that the rules of money have changed there was a day where the banks paid interest and it was actually a good idea to leave money in the bank that's not today hey you need to have a rainy day account you need to have an emergency account why who told you that why do you have to park money in a bank and just let the bank use it to get rich while it just sits there and you don't use it did you know that money is to be used right Money is a tool that's to be used, not a pool that's to be viewed, right? If you don't use the money, it has no value. Does that make sense? If you do not use money, it is worthless, it is useless. Money is only useful when it's used. So if, if I park $1,000 in the bank, that's $1,000 that I could have used to do something. But because I've been trained and conditioned to save, I don't have anything, right? And again, let me reiterate this because I, I get a lot of comments about people telling me what they did 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Again, if you bought a house 10, 15, 20 years ago, you did well. If you bought a house before 2020, you did well. If you buy a house after 2020, 
you are not doing so well. So please don't jump on here and tell me about how you bought a house that appreciated and you bought it all those years ago. Again, I'm only talking about 2024, 2020 and forward, which means the rules of the money, money game change and nothing's the same. If you buy a house today, congratulations. You, you're a 30 year loan owner. You're not a homeowner, you're a loan owner for the next 30 years. How do you pay for the house with your paycheck? Congratulations, you have to keep a paycheck for 30 years or you lose your house. That's not how I want to live. I don't think that's how you want to live. By the way, I have a free live training coming up this Thursday night. Uh, please put middleman in the comments if you want to learn what I do, how to start your own middleman business from scratch. Uh, I teach you how to build your own middleman business by using your smartphone only or your laptop. Uh, but the point is, you don't have to go to work. You don't have to leave your house. You can literally do what you want to do all day long because you get your time back. I tell guys, hey, I tell all the students in the class, I'm not here to make you rich. I hope you get rich, but I'm here to make you free. I'm going to teach you how to make money with your phone so that you don't have to go to work anymore one day. I don't have to leave the house to go to work. I can do whatever I want to do with my day. My company still makes money. Still makes money, right? We're on pace to do $350,000 this year. It's not a million dollars. I hope it is one day, but still not bad. My first year, 2020, doing this, I made $77,000 from home. And then I decide to punch the gas and see what see what we can do with this. So I basically teach you three things. How to book customers, take a deposit from the customer, that's where you get paid, and then dispatch the work to somebody else. The best part is dispatching the work to other people. Let them do the work. We don't want to do the hard work. We want to be Uber. We want to be Airbnb. We just want to find a customer, make money, and then send the work to you. All right? So if you want to learn how to do that and you're like, man, you know what? You're right. The money rules have changed. I do not want to pass down poverty to my family. I hate that we can't live the life we want to live. We have to live the life we have to live. I just want better. I want to do better. I want to live better. I want to enjoy life, right? I'm tired of working, trading time for money. I need to find a way to be free. Then you put the word middleman in the comments below. You'll get an invite uh, if we still have any left. And uh, you'll be in the live training about 45 minutes. And I'll teach you how to use your phone to make money. So, but that's that's what I'm going to teach you. So, <clears throat> again, if you don't change the way you think about money and finances, nothing's going to change for you. You have to understand that buying a house today is a bad idea if the way if the only way you're going to buy it is with your paycheck. Terrible idea. You have to understand that it makes more sense to buy a car that's a year or two old as opposed to buying a new car. <clears throat> you have to understand that if the only way you know how to make money is trading your time for money, you're going to run out of time and life's going to pass you by. You're going to die with regret. I'm telling you, that's no way to live. For everybody who wants to change, hey, I'll see you. Put middleman in the comments. I'll see you in the training. Have a wonderful, blessed day, guys. Peace.